Now, throughout all of 2023, we have had a lot of box office failures, not just on Disney's front, but also with a lot of other production studios out there. We all witnessed what happened with Shazam, Fury of the Gods, Blue Beetle, and a lot of other examples that's not just catered to Disney, by the way. But when it all comes down to Phoebe Waller-Bridge, we all know that she was a major factor in why Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny, performed so very bad at the box office for multiple reasons. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into exactly why Phoebe Waller-Bridge is having growing issues as we speak with Disney based on a recent decision that they made that does indeed involve her. Now, we know that there's a lot of things going on at Disney as they're trying to really balance themselves out, keep themselves afloat after Bob Iger's cost containment plan went active and it's going to go into a phase two, which is going to involve a lot of firings next year on all fronts. The corporate ladder, the film and television industry, as well as the theme parks, and it doesn't stop there as well. But what's interesting is the fact that what Disney recently did with actress Phoebe Waller-Bridge that has been creating more drama surrounding the actress that I feel hits rock bottom and it just goes to show you that Disney really is beginning to crumble and fall apart month by month and they're not going to make a rebound if they keep this up because we know that this is all a matter of them choosing the wrong path. Let's get into all of this. Now, this is in no way defending Phoebe Waller-Bridge, but you'll get to see exactly what my point is. With Phoebe Waller-Bridge known for her role and her controversial role as Helena, Helena Shaw in Indy 5 The Dial of Destiny, one major development has to do with what's been going on behind the scenes between herself and Disney. Specifically, Disney just finalized their plans to drop all plans for Phoebe Waller-Bridge returning in an Indy 5 sequel, either in the form of a movie or a TV show. This is now 100% concrete and off the table as they are now looking to go with a brand new approach for continuing Indiana Jones with new characters that will follow the legacy of that character. Walla Bridge was reportedly very angry and furious with the development of this and has been attempting to use many of her contacts at Disney to reason with Disney higher-ups. Regardless of the fact that Disney already fired and removed Bridge from several Disney-related projects as it is, this was the latest example of them removing her from yet another Lucasfilm project in early development associated with Disney. The reason why Bridge has an issue with this is, as it turns out, that she contributed to the idea of continuing the story of Indy to Kathleen Kennedy after the events of the Dial of Destiny that was accepted and that this was a contribution by her that was greenlit by Disney months ago. So guys, let me just pause here for a second. Now, the biggest problem that I have out of this is not the fact that they are dropping Bridge from an Indy 5 sequel that's in early development. It is the fact that they are doubling down and keeping this in development, even if it's in early development. And that's a disgrace. That just goes to show you that Disney does not care about fans speaking their opinion, their, you know, speaking their overall feelings about a franchise or whatever have you. We know that Bob Iger, Phoebe Waller, James Mangold, Steven Spielberg, etc., back in June and early July, they kept on saying that they or we were a minority, people that did not like this movie. And in reality, it was the majority. Let's be honest. It has to be because we know that everyone actually has a lot of people in their social circles that was saying the same exact thing, that they either A, did not see this movie, or B, if they even thought it was good, they just thought it was okay. That's about it. Some people like this movie, but it really wasn't all that well balanced. The ratio, I mean, really the number of people that disliked it outweighed the number of people that enjoyed this movie. So, moving onwards. We know that Phoebe Waller comes from a very rich family. And you guys may or may not know this, but she does have a lot of contacts in multiple Hollywood studios. This is exactly how she got the gig to contribute to Bond 25, No Time to Die. I don't know if you guys knew this, but for those of you that did not like parts or pieces of that movie, 
it's probably because of Phoebe Waller-Bridge. She was the very person that chose 007's moniker to get attached to a female in the beginning of the film. That was all Phoebe Waller-Bridge, something that she was testing the waters with to see how the audience would react to 007 becoming a female, just to see what the fans would actually say and think. And she was quite offended about the backlash on that. But moving onwards, all right, so on top of that, the very idea that she is getting removed from with a new range of cast members is what's triggering her. Whether or not this project ever gets made anyway is still up in the air. But Kathy Kennedy is reportedly doubling down to make it happen with a sequel that will focus away from Indiana Jones. Other Hollywood studios have also blacklisted Bridge due to their realization of her box office poison effect with Disney and how she herself had a large hand in making that happen to Lucasfilm by losing hundreds of millions of dollars. Disney is also deciding to not release her deleted scenes of the Disney Plus version of Indy 5, something that she reportedly worked very hard on to complete to actually complete with James Mangold. So I don't know if you knew this either, but she had quite a number of deleted scenes in the third act where we see the whole Siege of Syracuse moment. She had multiple scenes in which she is fighting many of the soldiers and that got deleted, never made it to the final cut. Disney is refusing to put it on the Disney Plus version of Indy 5 and let alone any digital release or any future digital release and that's also why Phoebe is getting very angry behind the scenes about what Disney is doing with her role of Helena Shaw. In fact, there was so much extra footage shot by Mangold, by Kathy, by Phoebe and her contributions to the script and to the story that went to waste that required tons of extra funding by Disney that just went into the trash. And that's another reason why Kathleen Kennedy was the sole reason why they lost so much money, not just because of a lack of interest by fans, but by overfunding this thing that was not even necessary. And even if it were necessary, they did not use the footage anyway. This is exactly what happened with, you know, other projects out there before in the past. Now, the thing about Phoebe Waller is that we know that she is heavily working still with Amazon on reinventing Tomb Raider and the character of Lara Croft. She commented on this before about a month ago that she's going to give us a very different version of Lara Croft, a character that will be more attached to diversity and equality and that whole agenda-driven nonsense. So of course I would not be surprised if she either cast herself as Lara Croft or she gets somebody else that's not fit for the role. That's just my two cents. So there's a lot of things happening with Disney right now and it's not looking good. Do I think an Indy 5 sequel will ever get made? My short answer is no. Do I believe it will stay in early development for years? Yes. So anyway guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys next time. Nights in the